Why would anyone want to live near an active volcano? For many of the residents of San Pedro Benito Juarez, a small town nestled at the foot of Mexico's Popocatépetl volcano, it's the only way of life they know. Over the past few weeks, however, the mountain has been acting a little strange. Large explosions have forced massive plumes of volcanic ash 7,000 meters into the air. At night, bursts of fragmented lava have lit up the sky and covered the steep slopes of the mountain in a glowing blanket of molten rock. Todo salió la lumbre. The whole mountain was glowing. Then the forest caught fire. The recent increase in moderately explosive eruptions, however, hasn't changed day-to-day -day life. Farmers still tend to their fields and children still go to school. At a monitoring station that tracks seismic activity around the volcano, disaster relief workers say their biggest challenge would be convincing people to evacuate. This is a volcano that people are used to living with. It's a volcano that was here before people arrived and began to settle. Mexico's Popocatépetl ranks among the most dangerous volcanoes in the world, not because of its potential for explosive eruptions, but because of how many people choose to live so close to the mountain. San Pedro Benito Juarez has a population of about 5,000 people, most of them ethnic Nahuatl, who have made their home in the shadow of the volcano for generations. Popocatépetl is a Nahuatl word meaning smoking mountain, and in recent weeks the volcano really has been living up to its namesake. But even though locals here tell us that volcanic activity has been calming down, authorities have yet to reduce the threat level, saying everyone should be aware of the evacuation routes in the event of a truly explosive eruption. <laughs> Despite the warnings from authorities, nobody in this town seems phased by the threat of this very active volcano at their backs. We're not worried. I say nothing is going to happen. Then again, who knows? The people of San Pedro Benito Juarez do understand the risks, but they tell us their livelihoods depend on the rich farmlands the volcano provides and say they would actually be more afraid if they no longer had their smoking mountain. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Puebla, Mexico.